Is this correct? Yes, it is. I checked his records twice. How did he pull this out? A miracle. Okay. Well, by the power vested in me by the state of Illinois, I hereby award this diploma to Mr. Um, Matthew Sapala, voted most likely to make you laugh. All right, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Principal. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. You thank did you. it. Well, Mom's I don't know so how happy. you did it, but you did it. We got it done. We got it done. <laughs>
until I decide to apply myself and I become a student of the month. And the habit of me getting noticed, of being a little bit different than everybody else, helped me become a millionaire. Number four, doing more with less. I didn't realize that the seeds of entrepreneurship were already being planted deep inside just because I didn't have enough money. So what's my point? My point is this, as an entrepreneur, you wish you had the right staff. You wish you had enough money. You wish you had the right line of capital. You wish you had a lot more customers. But here's the thing. You're going to learn how to do more with less or else your business dies. I remember going to the other schools. Man, they had great facilities. Man, they had great equipment. They had shoes. I had the same shoes from my freshman year to my senior year. It's the same shoes. But you know what? Instead of complaining about it, I learned how to be grateful about it. And today as an entrepreneur, doing more with less has allowed me Learning here in high school has allowed me today to become a millionaire. Point number five, I learned how to study at things that mattered to me. Listen, I wasn't the best student in chemistry. I wasn't the best student in biology. I wasn't the best student at trigonometry. I got a hold of the track guide in studying the horses, the color of the horses, the jockey, the distance that they were running, the conditions in which they were running, the last five, 10 trends of races that they ran. I studied those things. And I realized that, wow, by studying data, by studying numbers, I found something that if I put a little bit of work into it, man, I have success on the other side. I became not just a student of education, of academic education. I became a student of the money game. I studied how I can be a responsible adult. I studied how I can raise my children. I studied how I can be a better impact in our community. That's what mattered to me. And understanding that here in high school, but studying a subject matter as stupid as a track guide, which had nothing to do with high school, allowed me to be a millionaire. And, and some of you have been told, man, you gotta be a nurse, you gotta be a doctor, you gotta be a dentist, you gotta be this, you gotta be that, and, and li literally, you don't want to be. And I'm telling you that it's okay. If you say, you know what, I wanna be financially successful, you don't have to be an academic scholar, you don't have to be academically good, that there's paths out there outside of just academic success that will allow you much success in your life if you're willing to study those subject matters too as well. And that habit allowed me to become a millionaire. Point number six, who to listen to. Just like any job, teachers, school administrators either like the job or they love it or they hate it. For example, Mr. Vice, my business teacher, first time a book was put in my hand that I actually wanted to read. He gave me a book to read about Lee Iacocca and I turned around Chrysler back in the day. And I looked at him, I was like, why am I reading this from you? Oh, because he owns a business. He's just not teaching business. He owns a business. He owns Michael Anthony's Pizza. Oftentimes you can be around entrepreneurs that hate business. They're gonna tell you, man, this sucks. This and that. This doesn't work for you. They're gonna operate in the worst part of their life, which is fear. And the greatest part of an entrepreneur is to operate in this area called faith. You're creating something that hasn't been developed yet. And oftentimes I find people in business today that have said, you know what, man? I can't do this because so-and-so and so quit on themselves. Listen, I learned here in high school who to listen to. And because I learned who to listen to today, that has made me become a millionaire. And to wrap this stuff up, number seven, learn who to associate with. Here's the deal. I learned to not allow people in my ear. I want to do something big and special in my life. I learned to do something big and special with my business. Being big and special, did I say perfect, by the way? I want to do something big and special for my family, for our community, for the last name that I have. I learned who to associate with as a peer, because they're either going to pull me up or they're going to drag me down. If I hang around five gangbangers, I'm going to be the sixth. If I hang around 10 broke people, I'm going to be the 11th. But the opposite is true. You hang around more people that are thinking bigger, guess what happens to you? You start thinking bigger. You hang around people that want to believe more in themselves, guess what happens? They start, you start believing more in yourself. You're around people that are $100,000 year earners, $500,000 year earners, million dollar earners, guess what eventually happens to you? You become one, you have a choice. Anytime you graduate something to the next evolution of life, what are you gonna do about it? Listen, in high school, I was never the valedictorian. I was never asked to speak in front of the student body. I was never asked to speak on behalf of the student body. But listen, I applied myself in business and I became a valedictorian of business. Not of business school, but of our company. And putting ourselves in a position of putting all this stuff and wrapping it all together means I outperformed, I outworked, I had a hustle, I outstrategized, and that resulted my competition. And I learned all that here at Morton High School 
and that allowed me to become a millionaire. All right, there's a little peek into the life of Money Smart Guy. If you haven't done so already, and you are thinking about college, and you want to be financially successful as an entrepreneur, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't done so already, if you're on Facebook and you're watching this, make sure you hit like to our business page. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the notification button to be alerted the next time we upload the next video of The Money Smart Guy. With that being said, thanks for tuning in. Please share, because sharing is caring. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. You know.